I will be giving you environment and ecology very very important discussion because rather than geography environment they are asking many questions from environment especially geography why they are restricting to 8 to 12 question but from environment they are asking 12 to 16 or 18 question we will be discussing thoroughly in detail about environment very very important discussion they will ask direct question from whatever we will be going to study in this particular series then environment it is the natural component in which biotic living and abiotic non-living factors interact with each other it is the thing which is biotic living as well as non-biotic non-living interact with each other that is consisting the environment then habitat habitat is the physical environment in which organism lives what is habitat habitat is it is the physical environment say for example we as a human beings live in a terrestrial environment because we are living this is our habitat uh, the earth is our habitat then this is habitat consists of, of what shelter water food and space we have shelter then we need water then we need food and then we need space whichever space we need for living it consists of habitat what is biosphere biosphere is the biological component supporting life of the earth which includes biosphere biosphere is the biological component all the biological component means living thing they cons consist of this thing lithosphere the lithosphere is one kind of a biosphere then hydrosphere then atmosphere there are so many organisms living in atmosphere there are so many organisms living living in aquatic hydrosphere then there are lithosphere there are so many organisms living in lithosphere then ecology ecology is the branch of biology concerned with the relation with organisms in one another energy flow and mineral cycling very important to their physical surrounding to their physical surrounding it is the ecology is the branch of biology concerned with the relation with organism in one another energy flow and mineral cycling then ecosystem producers consumers decomposers and their relationship what is ecosystem it is the relationship between the producers consumers the decomposers and their relationship uh, all this is very uh, it is the functional unit of the environment ecosystem is what it is the functional unit of environment remember this fact ecosystem they can ask you which is the functional unit of environment they can give you three four options the answer is ecosystem the term ecosystem was formally coined by tansley a plant ecologist in 1935 remember this fact the term ecosystem was first coined by tansley a plant biologist a ecologist sorry in 1935 very important then components of ecosystem you have to know what are the components there in the ecosystem abiotic component and biotic component what is there in abiotic component physical physical component inorganic substance and organic component there are three type of abiotic component one is physical component inorganic component and organic component remember physical component what are the physical component temperature humidity light atmospheric pressure what are they temperature water light and atmospheric pressure these are abiotic uh, the uh, physical components physical component then second one is inorganic substance what are inorganic substance that is water oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen inorganic is what water oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen remember this four then organic substance what are organic substance that is protein carbohydrate and lipid protein carbohydrate and lipid that is pcl you can remember it as pcl protein carbohydrate and li lipid then comes the biotic component what is there in the biotic component biotic component is producer consumer and decomposer three things producer composer and decomposer consumer and decomposer producers are what 
that is green plant second one is consumers consumers like we as we can be herbivores as well as carnivores some people are having vegetarian food they are herbivores and we we are having people like me who are omnivores like eating both vegetarian and non vegetarian food and decomposers microorganisms are decomposers microorganisms the bacteria like this kind of a thing they are decomposers then uh, uh, trophic level position in ecosystem where community obtain food what is uh, what is trophic level it is the position in the ecosystem from where we get the uh, organisms get food or else you can also define a trophic level step in food chain it is a step in the food chain i have i will show you what is the step say for example primary producer primary producer is a trophic level trophic level is what first trophic level it is the first trophic level primary consumer then plants and phytoplankton plants and phytoplankton these are all consist example are phytoplankton grass and trees these are trophic level 1 then coming to the second means uh, on trophic level 1 depends upon the people of trophic level 2 depend upon this that is primary consumer secondary trophic level the trophic level become secondary the primary consumer become secondary trophic level that is herbivores herbivores who depends upon directly on plant and plant products remember this herbivores are what plant and plant products uh, the uh, the organisms depending on plant and plant products is herbivore that is zoo plankton grasshopper and cow zoo zoo plankton grasshopper and cow then come the second one that is secondary consumer secondary consumer then third trophic level that is carnivore and that is bird fishes and owl you can see the secondary consumer third trophic level that is third trophic level that is carnivore bird fishes owl then tertiary consumer the top most is tertiary consumer that is fourth trophic level and then top is carnivore that is man or lion you can say man and lion we are at the tertiary level tertiary le consumer level and fourth trophic level then it is a food chain example of a food chain is what grasses grasses are eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by frog frog are eaten by snake and snake is eaten by hawk or eagle so this is consist of a food chain i hope this basic concept of ecosystem ecology environment is clear to all of you we will continue the environment series thank you very much